The topic on this video is uh, leading heat gain calculation from ventilation. In the first part we discuss about minimum ventilation calculation and ventilation requirements based on CFM per person, CFM per square feet and CFM based on the occupancy density per 1000 square feet. So we use two methods to determine the ventilation requirements in the space. The first method was CFM per person and we got 125 CFM of airflow for 25 people. And the second method was CFM per square feet that we got 126 CFM for an area of 21,000 square feet. And let's discuss some more about ventilation and outdoor air. That why and what the outdoor air is uh, used for. The outdoor air is uh, often used to dilute or remove contaminants from the indoor air and the intentional introduction of the outdoor air into a space through the use of building HVIC system is called ventilation. The outdoor air must be cooled and dehumidified before it can be delivered to the space and creating an additional load on the air conditioning equipment. So you shouldn't depend on infiltration air to satisfy the ventilation requirements of a space. When the outdoor air is not moving due to wind and the amount of infiltration can drop to zero and instead it's common to introduce the outdoor air to the HVIC system and not only to meet the ventilation needs but it also to maintain a positive pressure relative to the outdoors within the building. So this positive pressure uh, reduces or may even eliminate infiltration of and condition air from outdoors. So remember to pressurize the building. The amount of outdoor air uh, brought into a space for ventilation must be greater than the amount of uh, air exhausted through central and local exhaust fans. The amount of uh, outdoor air uh, required for a space is uh, often prescribed by local building codes or industry standards such as uh, ASHRA standard 62 ventilation for acceptable air quality uh, prescribes the quantity of outdoor air required per person or per unit area to provide adequate ventilation for various types of spaces. Uh, methods of ventilation uh, requirements calculation the required quantity of the outdoor air involves these uh, three these uh, three methods the first method involves uh, multiplying the number of people in the space by the quantity of CFM per person. The second method uh, involves uh, multiplying the number of CFM per area square feet. And the third method involves uh, multiplying the occupancy density per 1000 square feet. 
So in these examples, the leading heat gain from ventilation is uh, calculated using the same equation as for infiltration. So QL equals uh, 0.7 times airflow times temp out moisture minus temp in moisture. So you need to realize that 0.7 has in constant which is drive from properties of air at standard condition of sea and dry air at sea level. So air at other conditions and elevations will cause these factors to change. So let me show you how to calculate the moisture in the air based on the temperature so we know the outdoor dry bulb condition is uh, 95 degrees uh, Fahrenheit with the wet bulb condition of 75.5 degrees and we also know the indoor dry bulb condition is uh, 75 with wet bulb condition of 64.5 degrees and we need to find how much moisture is in the air per pound of uh, dry air based on the outdoor condition of 95 degrees and indoor condition of 75 degrees. So using a psychometric chart by drawing a line from the outdoor dry bulb condition which is 95 degrees Fahrenheit to where it intersects the wet bulb condition of 75.5 let's call it point B and then draw a line from point B to where it intersects the humidity ratio 0.15 pounds of my and using the same way for indoor condition by drawing a line from the dry bulb condition of 75 degrees to where it intersects the wet bulb condition of 64.5 degrees and let's call it point A and then draw a line from point A to where it intersects the humidity ratio of 0.10 pounds of moisture in the air. Now you need to convert them from pounds of uh, water to grains of water. So the conversion from pound of water to grains of water is uh, pound of water times 7000 that will give you the amount of water in grains so for our outdoor condition we have 0.15 pounds of water times 7000 we get 105 grains of uh, water per pound of dry air for our indoor condition we have we have 0.10 pounds of uh, water times 7000 we get 70 grains of water per pound of dry air so we can now calculate the amount of leading heat gain the first example 0.7 times 125 CFM times 105 grains of uh, water minus 70 grains of water per pound of uh, dry air which gives us uh, 3062.5 BTUs per hour of leading heat so the 3000 62.5 of 
uh, BTUs per hour is the amount of leading heat gain from ventilation air that must be removed from the outdoor air before it can be delivered to the space which is a part of cooling coil load but not space leading load so all sensible plus uh, leading loads are coil load but all coil loads are not space sensible and leading load so the leading heat of the outdoor air is in this example is coil load and not space leading heat so here is uh, one more example based on CFM per area square feet that we got 126 CFM of airflow so QL equals uh, 0 0.7 times 126 CFM times 105 grains of water uh, minus 70 grains of water per pound of uh, dry air which gives us uh, 3087 BTUs per hour of leading heat so the 3087 BTUs per hour of leading heat is the amount of leading heat which is uh, generated by 125 CFM of the outdoor air and it must be removed during the dehumidification process so that's it for this thank you for watching